the Roman Empire had one objective, to become bigger and bigger. They succeeded for centuries. How? Among other things, because they had really good explorers. Hello, my name is Álvaro, and I welcome you to the International History Symposium. I'm joking, but the truth is that the present and future history is not so different. Centuries ago, we conquered land. Now, we conquered the space. But instead of having human explorers, we have electronic circuits. And instead of horses, rockets. At that time, the main challenge was how to cross a mountain, a river, or bad weather. In other words, environmental adversity. Our explorers face an identical issue. The electronics suffer from space adversity, like radiation or temperature changes. Similar to what Romans did, the traditional strategy to protect our explorers is to add shielding, like a kind of armor. Good solution, but very expensive. I am working on a cheaper solution with an opposite strategy. Instead of having additional equipment, I am leaving my explorers to the mercy of space. But wait, I know what you're thinking. This is exactly what we wanted to avoid, right? Yes, but here comes the trick. Imagine that the Romans had superpowers. Imagine the self-healing superpower. Something just like Wolverine. And I'm really sorry to bring you from the history lecture to the Comic-Con. But it's true, my circuits have the self-healing superpower. They are hard by radiation and temperature, but they are able to detect and heal their wounds. However, these Roman superheroes need a bit of help. They need someone to warn them that something is not working properly. For that, I have included different sensors. Once they detect any anomaly, they are able to, the circuit is able to readapt several settings and find the best combination for this new scenario. This way, we reduce the impact of space adversity and also the need of more heavy equipment. To finish, let me go back to the history conference because there is a Greek myth that perfectly sums up my thesis. Icarus wanted to fly so high that the sun melted the wings that his father had built for him. His wings were not prepared for adversity. Sad, right? I prefer happy endings, so this is what I'm working on, to help Icarus to fly to infinity and beyond. Thank you.